Well, hello. Uh, Paula Williams, I'm here. I'm the president and CEO of CTS Energy. We are excited to be here. It's a few hours away from the completion of our third annual conference, bigger than we've done before in the last three years. Um, we started out a couple of years ago when we started the um, future of energy. We wanted to really focus on energy. But as we started planning this conference and thinking about a lot of the developments that have happened, happened with our partners, I have my, my wonderful uh, friend here, Clint Vance from Denton's. Uh, he is a global partner in Denton's focused on the energy practice. He also has started a program um, globally about smart cities and a think tank that I participate with him on. And um, as we thought about all of these things that we've been able to create over time, we actually changed this conference uh, to be uh, a city of the future. Energy is part of the future of everything across the globe, and, but it's really key to be foundational in San Antonio. And um, we, think, we think it's part of the dialogue, not all of, all of dialogue. It's, it's a lot of things. It's smart cities, it's technology, it's partnership, it's growing um, talent and developing people and on and on and on. Uh, but now we're about to conclude our third year. I'm extremely happy. I'm happy that I have um, great partners that came down from their very busy schedules to come in and help us do this conference uh, Monday and Tuesday. It, it energizes for a really big 2019. And uh, I wanted to, to be able to share this, um, kind of recap it, and tell you a little bit more um, through Clint's eyes and thinking about the think tank and, and what is happening globally in terms of uh, smart cities. And so with that, Clint, I think I'll turn it over to you to tell, maybe tell our audience um, how did you conceptualize the think tank? Um, what did you do to get it started? Where do you think we are right now? And where do you think it'll be in like five years? Thank you, Paula. I'd love to do that. I, I should start really by complimenting you on uh, this conference. Thank you. It's really, uh, I've attended conferences on smart cities and communities around the globe. And this really is one of the strongest I've ever attended. I love the theme of the conference that you selected, which is um, if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And uh, this conference uh, demonstrates that. We've had speakers from uh, Darmstadt, Germany, mm. from uh, uh, Toronto, from Parramatta, Australia, I think that yeah. won the distance award. I think so. And, um, all uh, talking about the similarities and differences among different cities uh, attacking different challenges with respect to smart cities and communities. The concept of the think tank occurred to me because I serve on several uh, uh, global think tanks, including one with you, Paula, that you chair, co-chair. Okay. And um, I thought that um, we needed a think tank to deal exclusively with smart cities and communities, and I felt that uh, it needed to be rigorous, and it needed to be global, um, and it needed to be no cost, uh, really a virtual think tank where the best thought leaders around the world on this topic could come together, uh, do short uh, thought pieces, and share vital information and best practices. So we created the think tank through our law firm, the Denton's law firm, which has become the largest globally. And because we're in uh, more than 170 cities and locations, uh, the future of cities was important to us. And we knew, just to frame the discussion, that um, the world's population is migrating into cities more than Half the world's population now live in cities. We know that 80% uh, of the world's GDP comes from urban areas, but 70% of the world's uh, pollution comes from urban areas. Mm -hmm. So the more we do to bring these issues to scale quickly, 
the greater positive impact we'll have on our planet. The, uh, I started the think tank by going to old and dear friends like former Secretary of Energy in the US, uh, Dr. Ernest Moniz, uh, former for the energy pillar of our think tank, and Paula Gold Williams also is a co-chair with Dr. Moniz, and Anne Pramajori, the uh, president of all the Exelon operating companies, another co-chair. Uh, then I went, uh, we have 14 pillars in the think tank covering everything from energy to telecom, water, uh, uh, technology, and also um, infrastructure themes like uh, social infrastructure and um, regulatory and government. So we have officials from all of these areas. We were concerned about cybersecurity, mm -hmm. so we uh, went to um, my dear friend, uh, former National Security Advisor, General Jim Jones, mm -hmm. who also was a Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. Um, and uh, he helped us get top caliber people uh, with respect to cyber and physical security and then data sharing and privacy. The think tank now has about 180 uh, members from around the globe, uh, everywhere from Beijing and Shanghai and Singapore to uh, London and Amsterdam and Cape Town mm -hmm. and Toronto and Mexico and all throughout the US. Um, we uh, decided to take the think tank global uh, Paula joined us uh, for a Global Energy Summit in Amsterdam last October, and uh, we now have really begun to uh, increase the size. So in five years, my hope it would be hundreds of uh, people from around the globe that are not just talking about smart cities and communities, but will have actually taken a major step forward. Um, you know, along those lines, I, I got a question over the conference. Um, you know, Paula, how does this work? Are you are you populating the think tank with information, or are you gaining information with the think tank? The the interesting thing on this one is it's both. If you're a member, you get a chance to uh, have a connection where you can reach out anywhere to anyone in the think tank and and talk about what's happening in their region of the world what's happening in terms of how they're dealing with customers and, and the community. But you can also share. You can also say, you know, we tried this and it didn't work, and we tried something else, and it really was the better approach. And so it's very conversational. In addition to having um, intellectual pieces, um, editorials, and different formal ideas that we're able to pull from, um, Denton's also put out a publication that we shared at this conference, and there's just going to be a bigger and bigger proliferation of that. So, I am a proud member of the think tank. Uh, I, the, um, the last one, one last example I'll also give you is we were able to get Jason Williams, Councilman Jason Williams. He's the president of the New Orleans uh, City Council. There, they have a, a, an interesting infrastructure in his role. He has taken a huge interest in smart cities. The interesting thing is through this think tank, through this affiliation with Denton's, we found that we have a tremendous amount of similarities. San Antonio and New Orleans are both now 301 years old. We had our 300 tricentennial celebration last year in the same year our mayors met. Uh, Mayor Cantrell from New Orleans and uh, uh, Mayor Nuremberg from uh, San Antonio. Um, but they were also starting to work on their smart city strategy. As we were building on our smart city strategy, we finished our implementation of, of digital meters, and we've now created this conversation between the two cities about what we can do in sharing knowledge, what we can do in, in terms of application of real solutions, thinking about how to talk to customers and constituents, in a way where everyone can really join in the conversation. It's really important that smart cities um, isn't a single part of your community, but something that is a solution set for your entire community. 
And so, uh, again, another benefit that I've gotten by being um, part of this conference. And he came to be and participate with us. We were all on, on panel together. And I believe we'll be recruiting a few more people um, to, the, to uh, the think tank because of the conference. Well, is there anything else? We, we're gonna share this with our audience and, and, um, and Z Prime uh, and some other uh, outlets that have been very interested in what we're doing here. But there's any other message that you'd like to leave with our, with our uh, followers here? Thank you, Paula. Uh, to give just one example, of the uh, benefits of the collaboration that Paula just described between New Orleans and San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio was way ahead on advanced metering infrastructure. And so New Orleans examined what you had done and accelerated uh, that infrastructure in their city. Um, they also really admired the way that Paula had reached across to uh, different elements of the um, political infrastructure in New Orleans. So when Paula has a meeting on smart cities and communities, it doesn't just include tech companies or utilities or telecom companies. It includes the political leadership, the mayor and the city council, the board of directors of CPS Energy, uh, university presidents, business leaders, the media, and it's a, a wonderful way to uh, bring the entire community into the practice. We've learned increasingly that communities don't want to be told what's happening on smart cities. They want to actually participate, have the stakeholders help develop the uh, master plan. The final thing I'll say is that uh, we discovered that when we formed our think tank, that there was really no universal decision or, or definition of what a smart city or community is. And so we created our own definition with Paula's help and, and uh, President Williams of the New Orleans City Council and many stakeholders uh, around the world. And our definition is very simple. Uh, we feel that a smart city modernizes digital, physical, and social infrastructure in a way that benefits all citizens. And it does this by harnessing sustainable technology on an equitable basis. The importance of that is we treat um, smart cities not just as a tech play, although certainly the Internet of Things, sensor technology, big data analytics, artificial intelligence are quite essential, but we also believe that integrating that and all other essential services with the physical infrastructure and social infrastructure in a community or city are absolutely vital. And we're trying to uh, work with communities like San Antonio and New Orleans to have the social infrastructure and governance catch up to the amazing technological advances that we're seeing now. Well, I can't say any more than that. I'm glad that he is the leader uh, of, of the think tank. I mean, he has been such a friend and a great strategist, and he's been thinking about the right things that are gonna move our global along, let alone the utility and the energy industry. So thanks again. Thank you all for letting us talk to you a little bit. More to come. Thank you, Paula.